What is going on guys? This is Spade and I'm sorry you can't see my face. You can see my hands and then my fat belly probably. Uh, but anyways, what we're going to be doing today is kind of a little cooking thing. I say cooking, but it's not really cooking. This is going to be a video on how I make uh, what my family calls holiday cheer. Air quotes, holiday cheer. Uh, and what it is, it's a hard cider that you home brew at home. So essentially I'm going to show you how I make it. Uh, and put my own twist on it and then after it's made you have to let it sit for three weeks for the best flavor it could be you could have it either warm or cold depends on your preference on how you do it so to start we're going to use i'm going to move this out of the way we're going to use a gallon of whole foods uh apple juice from concentrate so it is unfiltered so you're going to have the settlement in the bottom you can probably see all the gunk on that so you're going to have that sediment on the bottom of that so we're going to start with a gallon of this and then dump it in here you can see my eggs i probably had for breakfast right here and then we're going to dump all of this in here and all right so there's that i didn't get all of it out you can probably see it really good though now that sediment in the bottom of that that's all right though because we're going to reuse this jug anyways because once it gets done being made you put it back into here so we're going to hang on to that jug so there's one gallon of apple juice there okay so then we need to put one gallon of apple cider so i used the martinelli's uh gold apple cider to do that so we'll just go ahead and put this in here And each one of these is 1.6 quarts, and there's four quarts in a gallon, so naturally you're not going to be able to use all this, or else you're almost going to put five gallons of cider into this. Which, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could put five, but the cider is going to be a little bit more bitter. But the, the other ingredients in this could kind of counteract the bitterness of it, so it could potentially work out. Alright. So this is going to be the last one. You could put all of it, which I may just do. Yeah, let me taste it a little bit. Yeah, fuck it. Let's put all of it. It's not bad. All right, so now that's there, we have two gallons, a little bit more than that, let's be honest. You have a gallon of, of apple juice, and then you have roughly a gallon of cider, of hard cider, not hard cider, but, you know, apple cider. So what we're going to do, we're going to set it to boil, and what, we're going to let it boil for a little bit while stirring, just to mix all of it together. And then once it's done, we'll move on to the next step. All right. See you then. All right. Now that it's boiling, you can hear that it's boiling. I'm wearing my chest strap because the, th the camera kept falling. But now that it's boiling, we need to put in four dried sticks of cinnamon. Uh, as you know, most of the stuff I'm using is organic. Not really matters because it's going to be loaded with booze later. Uh, but we need four sticks of cinnamon since it's actually boiling. And we're going to let it boil with it for a little bit. So we're gonna let it boil with the sticks in there. So there's one, there's two, there's three. All right, come here. And there's four. So we're just gonna let that sit in there. So we're gonna let this boil for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna turn it off and just let it sit with the cinnamon in it for about 30 minutes just to let the cinnamon flavor go through it all right we'll be back in a little bit all right guys now that that has set for a little while with the cinnamon in it we're actually going to move it over to the sink unfortunately it's a pretty short sink it's shallow it's not deep my old sink was pretty pretty deep uh, we're actually going to soak it in an ice bath so we're going to put cold water around it as well as ice 
uh, from the freezer. So let's put the stopper in here. And then we're going to transfer this to the sink. All right. And then the ice isn't going to be fully frozen because some of it I just put in there this morning. So it's kind of not going to be fully frozen. But either way, let's make sure we got water being cold. Really don't want any, any hot water. I just really wish I had more ice, but unfortunately I do not. Let's go ah, it's fucking hot. Let's go ahead and move this. All right. So we're gonna fill the sink as high as we possibly can. The sad thing is, is it's not gonna, it's not gonna chill as quick as I would like it because of the the ice situation like it's already it's already warm i did not plan this far ahead and i only have two ice trays so my planning's pretty limited but that's all right you guys get the idea All right, so we're gonna turn that off, move that out of the way, and then I'm actually gonna fill these back up. My freezer, I wish I had an ice maker. I used to have an ice maker, but unfortunately I do not. Now I don't anyway, so we'll put this back in the freezer. All right. This one back as well. I know it's not going to be ready by the time I need it to be, but is what it is. It's already warm, borderline hot. All right, so we're going to let this sit for a little bit. I really wanted it to cool off faster, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be the be the case. But we'll figure it out, and then the next step after you're letting it sit that's super hot jesus christ we're gonna stir it a little bit and then once it cools off we're gonna add some brown sugar uh, and some everclear so while it's sitting this step is to actually try to get the cinnamon sticks out which i don't think it's gonna work <laughs> because i mean you can see i'm just fucking spinning in here i know you can because i can oh, oh 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 got one i might let them sit in there a little bit longer while it cools off and then after it cools off take them out all right guys so i'll catch you on the next step okay we'll be right back all right guys so we're in the final stages right now i have let this set and cool for it about an hour and a half two hours now uh, it's still warm but it's cooled to the touch like it's not like boiling hot anymore I've already pulled the cinnamon sticks out as you can see right here so the cinnamon sticks are out uh, so now the last two ingredients we're gonna add this big fucking bottle of Everclear here so we're actually gonna put the whole bottle and it's supposed to be a 750 milliliters uh, which unfortunately this doesn't say exactly how many it is but this is the bottle i always buy oh it's one liter so yeah uh, this is the bottle i always buy and and do and then you do one cup of brown sugar i use dark brown sugar you can use uh you can actually use light brown sugar the difference is this has more molasses in it uh than regular brown than you know light brown sugar so what you want to do you want to mix it in and you actually want to mix it up uh well make sure it all gets mixed up and i know i kind of turned pulling the camera off of here but i wanted to make sure i didn't splash any on the camera so we just need to make sure everything gets stirred up 
very well. Because that... Because that actual sugar is very clumpy and very sticky. I can actually feel it against the, uh, the spoon. Seriously, like just feel it against the spoon. That's pretty nuts. All right, so now, oh, that sunk way far down. <laughs> that sunk way down in there. Now we're gonna add the Everclear. This is Everclear. This isn't some fake shit. This is real Everclear. So, whoo! Almost made me throw up just sniffing it. All right, so. I'm going to add the whole bottle. I probably should have made a non-alcoholic version of this for my kid. Probably should have. Didn't think about it. So now we're just going to keep mixing it and stirring it up. Because you want it all to mix well. Because Everclear has a very big tendency to sit on top of stuff. So you just want to make sure all of it gets mixed. Alright. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit longer. And just let it, and I'll keep stirring it every few minutes just to make sure everything gets mixed up all together really well. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pour it back in the jugs uh, that the apple juices and everything ca came out of. And naturally, it's gonna you're going to have a little bit more overflow than normal because of this bottle right here. Uh, this bottle right here is kind of where it fucks up. You can use this bottle if need be, but definitely make sure everything is out of it because that could totally throw the balance off. I just got some on me. Oh, it's disgusting. All right. So I'll be back in a few minutes. And we're going to start putting this back in the jugs. All right. Be back in a few. <coughs> All right, guys. We are back. I've been stirring it. So now comes the test. You can see all that sediment in there. Yeah, man. It smells fucking delicious. I wish y'all could smell that. I really do. Now comes the real test if I overdid the Everclear because I think that bottle was bigger than I normally use. So we're going to take a sip. It's a little bit stronger than I would prefer. It really is. But it's still very much drinkable. It's not... Everclear normally has like this really overbearing flavor to it if you add it to things. I should have got the slightly smaller bottle of Everclear to counteract with this, but unfortunately I, I, I did not. I feel like there's still some cinnamon in here. Whew! Yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be rough, man. That's it's still good. It's just it's way way I won't say way stronger. The way stronger is different, but normally it has like a sweet and, and it's subtle, you know. But this time it's it's a little bit stronger than I would prefer. But like I said, it's still very much drinkable. It's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pour it back in these bottles over here. You can see my kitchen. My kitchen's a mess. Uh, but either way is what it is. Now, once you pour it back into these bottles, what you want to do, you really, it's best to let it sit uh, for about three weeks. I know I already covered that. 
but it's best to let it sit about three weeks. Man, I have no funnel or nothing, and I'm just wasting this shit. I'm about to just dunk it. Man, I need a funnel. Just look how much I barely got that in there. I need a funnel. All right, so either way, guys, you guys get the gist. You get what I'm trying to do. But either way, I definitely want to thank everyone for watching this something different as opposed to what I would normally be putting up on a YouTube channel. And then we will see y'all next time. All right, thanks for thanks for hanging out. Thanks for stopping by, uh, sharing in this uh, brew stuff with me. And we'll see you next time. Later.